Hello there everyone, today I'm going to tie a fairly big uh, pike fly and this is going to be one of my uh, pike fly in one of my favorite colors. This is going to be a pink pike fly. Uh, pink is one of the colors uh, that I have used m uh, most uh, recently uh, and for some reason pink just have some sort of uh, almost magical abilities to just find pike and especially find big pikes. So today I'm going to do a, a pink pike fly and I'm going to do this on, uh, on something that is quite new for me. Um, but I've tried it out, tested, field tested it a lot lately, and it 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 works for sure. It's uh, I'm tying with these uh, these shanks from something called uh, uh, Flyman. Uh, these are very very cool. They're very sturdy, very durable, and uh, and they allow you to to move your hook further back down into uh, into the fly, which give you uh, an an advantage uh, uh, when uh, when when you talk about uh, hook percentages. So uh, so this is uh, this is what I'm gonna do and I think this is probably the way I'm gonna tie most of my pike flies from here on out. This is simply a great way to do it. First of all I'm gonna start with uh, marabou hackle. Marabou is, is uh, great because it adds a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, a lot of life to the fly and uh, and also these marabou feathers even though they don't look uh, very durable they in fact are pretty durable. Also uh, marabou hackles uh, can be used quite a lot for uh, covering up uh, mistakes and and big lumps of uh, of tying thread so so we're going to use uh, another one of these uh, further on just to to make uh, the fly look a bit more uh, look uh, look a bit uh, a, a, a bit better well then I'm gonna tie this down here using a lot of thread the the thread I'm using here is is the Vevus uh, 0 0.8 which is does not sound like a lot but for a Vevus thread uh, which is my favorite third type of, of tying thread a 0 0.8 is, is actually quite a lot because this is a very very durable thread so a 0 0.8 is is great for bigger flies also so so far so good what I'm gonna do now is just to make sure that I have uh, covered uh, my shank with tying thread just to be sure that I have a proper uh, uh, a, a proper base for the rest of my materials I'm just gonna apply some thread to the entire shank like so. Next off I'm gonna tie in uh, one of my favorite materials uh, the big fly fiber after that we're gonna use some uh, some pink flesh then we're going to use some uh, some hackle feathers and last of all we're going to use some uh, lateral scales which is is a truly amazing flash product uh, from uh, from Hedron. Well, off to the pink big fly fiber. For those of you who may not have heard about big fly fiber, it's uh, it's it's a very nice material because it has this curly end and then it has this long, uh, very uh, very smooth, very thin uh, end, which makes this come truly alive in the water. It gives a lot of adds a lot of bulk to the fly uh, in uh, in the part where you're tying it down in uh, in this curly end, and then uh, the tips of this material just moves and and uh, drifts and and just generally is is very very cool looking in, in the water remember to apply a lot of thread to this stage of the fly because your big fly fiber you need to tie that uh, fasten that very firmly because if you don't fasten it very firmly then uh, the pack teeth can sometimes just well pull this fiber out from uh, from under you then I'm going to take a bundle of uh, holographic uh, flashaboo. The holographic uh, flashaboo works uh, nice because uh, it reflects a lot of light, light and also the color here is, is, is truly awesome. What I do before I tie this down is is to make sure that my flash don't hang just like uh, one bundle. I, I'm taking uh, different strands of flash here and then I'm pulling it in, in unequal length so that I'm getting instead of just you know a, a straight cut over uh, I'm, I'm getting a lot of these flash materials in in uneven lengths the reason I do this is because um, when uh, the, the fly moves in in the water 
all the riffles and ripples and and all the current of the water from, from when you retrieve it will uh, will affect this fly differently and uh, and therefore if the flash is is uniform in length it would just kind of stick together and uh, and not move very uh, very lifelike in the water i'm not saying that <laughs> this pink fly is very lifelike to begin with but it will have a lot more appeal to the pike if it looks like it it's uh, it's alive and it's vibrating and it's uh, well, generally just just making making uh, yeah looking alive tying it down and then pulling it backwards backwards like so and then I'm gonna just kind of like rinse and repeat take another bundle of big fly fiber approximately the same uh, same uh, same size as, as the first bundle about here tie this down using quite a lot of thread to make sure that this is fastened and it's gonna stay in place like that and then I'm gonna take another bundle of flesh the reason I'm doing two bundles of big fly fiber instead of just one is that you can split the uh, the amount of uh, of big fly fiber you want. You can you can actually just, just uh, you could just make one big bundle, but that won't uh, that would make the fly less durable, and also it would uh, it would prohibit prohibited you from uh, from uh, taking all this flash and adding uh, adding this flash into in between the the layers and it's not like it's well it's that's much more uh, uh, difficult to just make uh, make two instead of one so as i did before i'm taking a bundle of flash abu and making the lengths uneven tying this down making sure that it's fastened tightly and then turning the rest of the material over because when I do this uh, I have I have doubly secured it and this will make my fly last a lot longer in the teeth of pikes like so then I add some of these uh, golden fibers of uh, golden strands of uh, of lateral scales uh, a truly awesome material for pike flies i use this in well every single one of my pike flies because it's it's a very thick flesh material reflects a lot of light and gives a kind of sideline effect to uh, to uh, to the fly but also these will move differently from uh, from all the other uh, flesh strains and will uh, will add a lot of contrast and a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of life to the fly in the water so just five or so strands of this will will be sufficient Once that is done, I'm going to take some of these uh, saddle feathers in, uh, in pink. I'm going to attach these to the fly. Also to, uh, to add some a new material that will move differently again in the water. I've prepared these in advance, so I'm just taking four or something like that. Uh, they are great, great looking on uh, on uh, every pike pattern. These these grizzly grizzly feathers. They do a tremendous job on the fly, uh, but also do a tremendous job in the water. And I'm sh I'm sure that uh, these can actually make the difference between uh, a pike taking the fly or a pike not taking the fly. And uh, they are also very durable. 
So once you have them in, I think actually one or two of these is from a fly that I fished with and caught a lot of pikes on and then uh, then just because, well, these are a bit expensive, then uh, then I just t pulled them off the fly when, when the rest of the fly was eaten uh, to, <laughs> to, to, to be able to use them, uh, use them again. Well, now we are at the, at the fa final stage of the fly. We're gonna take um, um, another marabou hackle to uh, to just uh, to just uh, uh, hide this big bundle of uh, this big bundle of uh, of tying thread. And also, well, as I said earlier, marabou is is great for adding uh, adding life to the fly, like so. Cutting off the feather stem, pulling everything backwards, making sure everything is exactly where I want it to be. Fastening this so it stays where I want it. Applying a bit more thread, just to make sure I have a sound base for this very final part of the fly. Which is, uh, I'm going to use some of this uh, ram's wool. Uh, a pretty cool uh, material for uh, for uh, for the finish of, of, of larger flies. This ram's wool can be used kind of like uh, deer hair to, to create something that resembles uh, a muddler head um, but this is uh, is far easier to to accomplish and uh, and uh, and also it, it 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 looks very very great so what i'm going to do is because we need to put uh, i want uh, to put a, a soft head uh, in front of this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this bundle of uh, ram's wool sculpin wool and i'm going to tie this in uh, so that it sticks out because then when I turn this in a second then uh, then I can turn it use the the soft head the poor soft head to uh, to turn this over and it will fill the soft head the gap in the soft head quite uh, nicely and uh, and also it will uh, it will uh, it will have the exact shape the head that I uh, that I wish I'm gonna cut some of this off Yeah, looking good. Making my whip finish. Right about there. Tying it on down. Applying a bit of varnish. Um, this this place this this tying this place with tying thread of this part of the fly will be completely covered by this soft head so you don't need to apply that much uh, varnish um, it will uh, it will it will work either way but what I have to do is because the hole in this soft head is not uh, big enough to to fit over the uh, the uh, uh, the shank so I'm gonna cut this hole a bit bigger just a little bit so it will fit over and what I'm gonna do is Pull it over here, like so. Turn it over, so it's gonna be where I want it to be. As I was saying, add a small drop of super glue. Not necessarily much, like so. Taking your 3D eyes. And for this large uh, magic head, this large, uh, not magic head, uh, pro soft head, you'll need a size uh, a 12 millimeter, uh, 12 millimeter uh, eye.
applying some more super glue to the eye on the other side. But well, basically, that's it. That's the big pink uh, pike fly. Uh, and as I said in, in the beginning, pink is a very, very nice color for uh, for th these pike flies. It really, really works. It really, really works great. If you if you want, you can attach some some super glue up here to make sure the head is is in place. But but really, the, there is no need. The uh, the um, the ram spool is going to keep it pretty much in place. And and after each fish, you can just adjust it a bit. Um, so there it is. And pink is a great, great, great color.